live. We're back again. Chuck. What we got going on today? Another episode. Another episode. We're doing race stumps, and this might be the most ghetto way to do it, but Colin got clamps. We're going to make hangers. So this is like how to do race stumps on your car. How Without much a welder. Without a welder. Um, minimal tools. I got a little drill bit. Doing a little machining right now. No big this deal. This is machining. No big deal or anything, but this is an actual functioning machine shop. And I recommend you not to wear eyewear. So we're gonna start drilling this thing. Con, I'm gonna drill like this. You wanna put your hand right behind it? I was gonna say, how are you gonna hold that up while you I'm drill? I'm gonna hold it like this. Okay. Ready? Lay your finger there. Ah! <laughs> Picked up the camera. That worked better than we thought. <laughs> are you filming? You got that thing rolling? Yeah, say so go a little this, bit this, lower to make it tight. This metal is not. Almost just took on my knee. <laughs> The metal's not crazy thick, Oh, so. you're about to snap the drill bit in my eye. On today's episode, we're going to show you guys how to make a trip to Patient first. Ah, uh, she's spinning. Make sure you use a wood drill bit for your metal. It'll go through better. Always. Oh, she's spinning. Dang, she's spinning on me. Back up now. There you go, Betsy. We don't even need to use that bolt that we got. We'll just put a little screw in. You know what I mean? Yeah. There you go. Here at Stallion Racing Division, we just freehand everything. Do we know what we're doing? We don't need that. All right. Now, we have another little bolt. Show them what we did. So, took a little quick little eye measurement. And chitty chitty bang bang. Show them. Look at that. Nice and tight. Uh huh. Let's tell them the before. Yeah, this is how it looked before. This is what you get from Lowe's. You can get these anywhere in Lowe's. Three inch pipe. This is supposed to be a three inch hole, but this is a three inch pipe. This and is, look how much bigger it is. This is built by Lowe's. This is built by Stein Racing Division. Yep. Lowe's, us. Show them the Lowe's fit. Yeah, Lowe's fit. And they said this is three inches, right? Yeah. Who measured that shit? Stevie Wonder measured that. <laughs> Zeus is out and it is Chuck's turn. And he's got a pair of scissors and I don't know what he's doing with it. And is that drag, son? Only this where I'm going. Where are you going? Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna cut those flops off. We are trying to have, all right, yeah. Did you cut it right? Oh yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, I was gonna say, cut, just cut it along that plastic piece and cut it up. That's one thing you can do for drag. That is coming off. And the rest you can see looks pretty darn good. What we're gonna have to do is drop the the valve, uh, valved mufflers, we're gonna have to drop them and probably tie up all the other stuff to connect it. And we're gonna figure out how to do the race stumps. Can you door dash me some food or what? You're fat, you don't need it. We're gonna be here a couple hours. It probably will be. And after that, I'm gonna cut off Chuck's rear sway bar so at the track he'll tank slap. <laughs> so i think we got this chuck i think whatever we just pull off the mufflers we'll just literally tuck it back up in your car so we can easily connect it again yeah this is gonna be one of them mods where we can change it whenever we want yep this is the insta mod even though it took an hour to get on the lid too bad hey too bad your mufflers are not like mine look right here where yours are welded dude if yours was welded just like the shelby's we could have literally did this perfect do you just want to cut it? What do you mean? I was going to say we can cut this pipe right here. What's up, fat boy? Oh, you're talking about just put the three inch right there? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I wanted to, but I can't hook it back up. That's the only problem we run into. <laughs> Unless instead of welding it back up, we can clamp it up, but I don't know what we're talking about, right? I don't know how it's going to clamp, though. I mean, we could use one of my other clamps, like the ones I have over there that they just sent, those big ones. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, we don't need a hanger, right? We don't, we don't need a hanger. Yeah, if we cut it right here. Do you need these? No. <laughs> That's two pounds. If we cut it, like, literally, no joke, right here. I'm about to cut and, off. And look, see, give me that dump. A little dump. I'm going to show them. We cut that son of a gun right there. We aim it towards the earth or we aim it towards aim the side. Yeah. So when you're doing a burnout, it's going to look sick. That's what I originally thought because this is how... When you buy a cat back, most of them come H-pipe, 
this extra bent pipe right here and then obviously like all the mufflers connect right there yeah but it's because we got this universal one that i had to get welded up yeah so, but yeah we could literally just put them right if there. we could just cut it right there that'd be sick because we could literally just take this slide that oh dude we could just and put it like here with actually a metal hanger yeah let's show them the other idea that we have. so like this is the other idea give me the pipe let me see if this would even have worked so i was just gonna disconnect it there yeah it would have hooked right here it would have been fine but the thing is i would have had to somehow run this sucker up somewhere to hang i mean we could hang it maybe from like right here <laughs> i don't know but then again it's not gonna be really tight against it I was gonna bend it to see if I could put it, cause I bought a bolt and a washer to go through there. there. Yeah, I mean, look, it would be so weird looking. I think first thing we do is just take the mufflers off, get this situated, and then we'll try to mess with it. We obviously won't show them us disconnecting everything. We'll just do that ourselves, tuck it all away. Get out of there, dude! He's got to sleep right under the car. Idiot meatball, a little chicken nugget. What do you think? I think we'll just disconnect it. We'll slide the mufflers off and then uh, we'll let it party. All right. Holy shit. Let me shit. just redo it so you can film it now. Do the other one. <laughs> oh, you did them both. <laughs> I did them both. All right. Mufflers are for pussies. Chuck just said how to reset. it. We're making a shirt. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Alright, this might be the second funniest thing that happened in the garage today. I don't want to say we're fucking panicked, but... Ah! My leg. So what did you do, Chuck? You're the one who said we should put this bolt this way <laughs> instead of facing backwards. <laughs> now it's stuck. So now we have an under-the-car ornament. We just got to bend it a little <laughs> bit and get it out. weld it and it's another little hanger. Yeah, we can. Get out the welder. You yeah, got the welder? No, I left it at home. Son of We need to get a welder in the shop. Oh, she's almost out. Hell diggity. Now, take the, the rubber hammer and hit oh, the clamp right we here. We forgot our extra step right here. Yeah, hit that at the bottom. Yeah, you gotta clamp it too. Where's the big rubber hammer? Hit it, hit it towards the end. What? Like take the where I hit, hit it this way? Yeah, hit it like this way towards it so it will lodge itself on it, you know? I think it's right behind you. Take that sucker like this. And no joke, just hit it literally like right there. So it gets like Yeah. There we go. Hopefully you make it home today. That looks good. Go. That looks good. <laughs> Alright. Alright. He's ready. And I'm not going to lie, boys. We just dropped a shit ton of weight. And when I tell you shit ton, these things are freaking heavy. Colin's picking up a tenth and a half. That's my guess. Tenth and a half, boys. Oh, if my left arm can tell you how heavy this thing is, I feel like I just pulled something in my back. <laughs> I knew it shouldn't have had that Klondike bar. All right, well, this looks cool now. Ray stumps are activated, and we aim them towards the rear tire, which even looks more sick, so you might have to do a burnout in my neighborhood. I will. All right, well, we got the road already a little wet, so. Yep, I think we're ready. And boys, we might, we might, just might. I didn't know when I was gonna tell you this, but someone might be buying old girl. I'm just gonna tell you all that. We're going to leave it at that. Someone might be buying old girl. Yeti looking good, though. Drop a like on today's video. Chuck is going to try to take down Apollo in his greatest attempt of making his car faster than Apollo. If you beat my time, I'm taking off my mirror caps. Everyone already knows I'm beating it. You're cheating. I hope you know that. All right, it's down. Time to fire it up. Jeff Gordon getting the driver's seat. There you go. I got it. This is rate. If the dump hits the ground, I'm laughing. We're not fixing it. Ready? Fire up. It's not bad. It's not bad. Oh. Give it a little bit of.
the gas. Just tap. Just get. Just tap it. Just. What RPM was that? Is the car warmed up a little bit? All right, just give it a little bit more. You gotta look at it right here. I can see it. <laughs> Film it. Shoot flames or what? It's gonna shoot flames. But watch the smoke where it comes out. I'm gonna floor it though, shoot some flames. The idle is still kind of high right now, so when it even quiets down, it's not gonna be crazy. I think the cold start is just gonna be really bad. So look when it shoots out, you can see like where it goes out. does the burnout and it's like starts smoking it's gonna shoot the smoke send her on out another one complete for the shop no big deal we're just building the fastest and kind of these around that looks sick as hell It did look kind of low right there. Uh, oh my God. Colin, do it again. Hold on. <laughs> Chuck, I need you to get up to the top of my street and light him up. All right, boys. So it is the next day. Chuck's car is unfortunately still here. We did run into a little bit of an exhaust issue. For some reason, after we put the hangers on, they kind of started to sag a little bit. But I figured, why not? Let's give you a true, true cold start. And I'm going to drive the thing around the neighborhood, hopefully, to piss everyone off. Oh, my God. It sounds honestly really good. We saved about close to 80, I think, 85 pounds it was. But for some reason, after we did it, it looked like everything was perfectly flat. And then we drove it around a little bit. And then the exhaust started just to sag. I think it might have been the Lowe's hangers didn't do the job. But I wanted to see what it sounds like inside the car. Because Colin said 35, 40 miles an hour. Uh, like 35, 40 mile an hour driving. It's absolutely insane. Uh, so I figured why not. He left the car here. Let's go joyride it. I mean, right off the bat, the inside doesn't sound too, too bad. Just sitting here. Hopefully it doesn't have the radio cranked up real loud. Tire pressure, rear belt. Yep, it's a race car. We know that. Let's see. It's still idling high, 1100. Engine oil pressure normal, perfect. Inlet air, everything looks good. Need to let this old girl warm up a bit. Jeez, 9,800 miles, Con. Where the hell you been driving? Well, we are not going too far, so I just want to hear what this thing sounds like really quick because he's about to be here, and we might do some more modification to it, but I'm not going to show you guys that. Let's just get an in car on how this thing actually sounds. Well. I can definitely see what Colin's talking about. It is like a vibration because I think we turned the dumps underneath the car. Stupid freaking seatbelt. Oh. All right, got it, got it. Relax, seatbelt trying. Yeah, so, oh wait, I think I just heard the exhaust scrape a little bit too. 
that is not too good. Let's turn down this street, good little straightaway. Give it a little bit of gas. Alright, so there's a shit ton of vibration going on in the car, like the whole dash is vibrating. It is because the dumps are literally aiming kind of somewhat towards the ground. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go in here and bust a U-turn, give it a little more gas when we leave. Obviously, we're going to gas it a good bit. And uh, yeah, I think it's going to be very, very loud. I might have to go down windows down on this one. Hopefully, the wind audio doesn't go too crazy. Sounds good, though. It really does sound good. It doesn't sound clap. Doesn't sound like a squat truck or whatever. Actually sounds not too shabby. All right, so I'm gonna gas it right after this turn a little bit just to hear how crazy loud it is because Colin said it was insane driving home, but. There goes the helmet. Well, it is loud, but I think just cruising that's the problem cruising and like the vibration of where it's hitting Ugh, all right the exhaust end scrape there thank god don't sound bad i could just feel his car his car feels so much lighter than apollo just even get sounds like an old truck right there just whatever noise that is i kind of like it i'm not gonna lie Thank you.